Hi guys, Steve from Chilcote Forestry. I'm going to go over my spring seed mix. It's not too early to start talking about uh, planting your spring food plots, getting your soil ready, getting your seed ordered. So what I did was I went into my smart mix calculator. If you uh, Google that, you'll come up with the smart mix calculator for cover crops. And you can put in your goals. My goals were supplemental grazing, nutrient cycling, increased organic matter. I put in my region so they have your your frost-free days in the computer and then they'll suggest different uh, species for you to plant. Now I've had good luck with all of these so that's what I want to use in the future. So my mix this year is going to be soybeans at 20 pounds, cow peas at 20 pounds, spring peas at 20 pounds, so you have 60 pounds of legumes. And that's for a broadcast, so we'd reduce that possibly a little bit if we were drilling. Um, spring oats, sunflowers, uh, I love. Uh, I have them at three pounds, you can increase that a little bit, it wouldn't hurt. Chicory, two pounds, because it's expensive and um, you don't need a lot of it, it's very small seeded and rape is very cheap and it grows pretty decent in the spring especially when mixed in with uh, cover crop. So broadcast we want to plant 80 pounds of that and it'll cost us about $60 an acre for the seed. That includes the inoculants and uh, the mixing and delivery. So well it's not going to cover shipping but it'll cover bagging anyway. Drilled you would plant 60 pounds to the acre of this mix, it would cost you 45 bucks. Um, so, as you can see, I like a diverse cover crop when I'm doing my summer food plots. This thing will last all through the summer and well into hunting season um, if you want to terminate it or if the deer end up terminating it for you then you would go ahead and put in your fall food plot or you could split the field and do a, a summer and either burn it down or till it under and then plant your your uh, winter brassicas and, and wheat. So assuming that we planted brassicas and wheat back in the fall, now we in the spring that'll green up and we'll have a wheat field which we can terminate or the deer may terminate it for you again. It all depends on the size of the field and how much pressure you have. Um, you can either kill what you, what you have left over from last fall or roll it uh, before it goes to seed, which I, I don't really like because I, I'm hoping for some nice wheat in June and uh, the deer will eat the grain. So, uh, you know, if we use a, an onless wheat, you know, with no beard on it. Uh, and then we can we can put this in any time uh, between you know frost frost free you know which around here is like May 20th uh, up to middle middle of June. So um, this is drought proof. There's no way that drought's going to kill this. If, you know if you planted some of these like a soybean or a cowpea by itself. Uh, for one thing, you have so much deer pressure on there that they won't grow. Plus, if you have uh, three weeks with very little rain, uh, they won't they won't make it. Uh, rape grows much better in a crowd where it's shaded. Uh, this whole uh, variety is going to have different types of root systems, so that you're reaching down deep, you're in shallow. And you're increasing organic matter at the top, you have a lot of diversity under the ground, and you're pulling nutrients from deep down, putting it back on the top, and that's what, uh, like chicory and rape will go way down deep and pull phosphorus up for you, get it on the surface. Uh, that should give you a diverse forage for your deer. So there's plenty of protein in there, you're gonna increase nitrogen and have plenty of chow for the deer. So that's my mix that I'm going with this year. 
you can adjust that for your region or uh, how you like it. I've had really good luck with cowpea. I tried a, a lot of other different cr cover crops, so they didn't really grow very well. But anywhere that I put cowpeas and soybeans together, they grew extremely well. The sunflowers do extremely well. The deer love them. And then you can, you can have a really nice looking plot with a bunch of sunflowers in it. Oats are always good as a grass component to fill in the gaps so you don't end up with any weeds coming in. Deer love chicory and they eat grape. Um, this could be anything, you know, it could be a hybrid. I have some uh, hybrid rape left over from last year. I'll probably use that. Okay, so that's, uh, that's your spring mix. Uh, give me a call, like, subscribe, uh, share this with somebody that might be able to use it. And uh, don't be afraid to uh, get in touch with me if you want any advice on forestry, wildlife habitat. Uh, if you want me to take a look at your property, give me a call. All right, and I'll see you next time.